I've got containers on the screen and they have some Ken Burns effect supply. This is really simple to do with a bit of CSS. This one is kind of zooming in and out and I'll show you how I did that. I have set it for five seconds. This one is set for 40 seconds. It's about five and a half thousand pixels in width and it's slowly moving across the image. Um, and then eventually it will rebound and go back to start. So they do reverse, which is what you've got going on over here. Down here, we actually have a loop grid. So these are posts, they could be products. And what you're getting is a little bit of movement. Now, why is this one moving so much quicker? Because it is a much wider image and this has been set to 10 seconds. Look, let me show you the code. So here's the first one. It is just a background image. If you wanna go and set the height or the width, that's up to you. But this is just a background image and the magic is in the CSS. We go to advanced, I've gone and given it a class name called Ken image and here is the CSS code. You can just take that and stick it into a container where you've got a background image and then just go and adjust the speed. So if I was to go and set this to be one second, it's now going to start going in and out at a much more quicker rate. If I was to go and set it to be something like 50 seconds, it's going to move but at a much slower rate. And if you look at the mountains there, you can see it doing that. So I'm just going to pop it back to five seconds. This is just zoom moving. That's how brilliantly simple and easy this is. And that's the animation I've got, zoom move. I mean, I, I don't know how much more I can really say about that. It's so brilliant at what it does. If you want to play around with it, so you want it to zoom in a lot more. So if I was to go and set this to be, say, 180, it's going to go basically zooming in a whole lot more, which, you know, it's up to you. So you can modify the values to work. The second one over here is kind of the same thing. If I just expand on it, this is again a background image for the container, which you see here. This is uh, five and a half thousand in width. It's super, super wide. Um, this has a heading in there. So if you want to overlap further text or a description, you can do. If we go to the advanced tab, this has got the class name Ken2. Not very imaginative, I know. And over here, it's basically the same code, except now I'm going from zero to 100%. The zoom in, I start at 100 and I go to 120. You could change it the other way around. Maybe you start at 120 and go to 100. You know, you can, you can mess around with that. But the slide move, I'm sliding from one position. So I'm starting at 0%. And then it's going to go over to 100% and I've set it to be 40 seconds because I want it to be gradual. If I go with four seconds, you can see what it's doing. Now, when it does get to the end, it does slow down and then it rebounds backwards. Okay, so just be aware of that. I mean, that is now going at a much quicker rate. If I do 40 seconds, you're going to get this nice gradual transition. And I feel that could be pretty cool as a hero banner, right? Now, what do we have below here? We have our loop grid. If we go to edit the template, yeah, let's just hit save. Um, what you want to do is, let me just open this up, is I've applied this to the container, so the child container. So the template is obviously a container. I was going to have some text, so I went and popped the background or the featured image into a separate child container, and you can see I've gone and called it Ken Free. You can see here if I go to the style, the image is the featured image. And in the custom CSS, you can see the code. It's basically the same as what I had over here, but this time I've made it be 10 seconds. If I made it be a second, you know, it's going to well be a bit crazy. So if you want to add something like movement to your loop grid, this could be a really neat little way to do it without having to like put in like loads of other widgets or plugins or anything like that. Hey, I'm Imran Web Squadron. Code is in the video description. See you soon. Never break, always fight, never quit, do it right, play the game, win your life, have no shame, there's no time, feel the pain, with the grind, I could change, in my mind, pick a lane, commit and climb, the only way, to win it life, I never miss that fact, taking big swings.